Good morning, my name is Tom with Home and RV. I'm going to be showing you a Cougar to you today. Uh, we have your awning partially out. Uh, the maintenance uh, reference with your awning, you do not want to leave it out in uh, stormy weather. Uh, the arms that uh, extend it are not strong enough to keep it down in the wind. So if it's windy or stormy or raining, uh, just bring it in and uh, save your awning from a uh, from being damaged uh, also on your roof you have uh, a dicor ceiling across the front and one across the back and everything that comes up through the roof has dicor sealant around it dicor is a brand name they make a lot of things for campers they make this sealant that's non-silicone do not use any silicone on that membrane it will eat through We'll start here on the uh, passenger side. Uh, several things, uh, several items here. You have your on-demand water heater. Uh, it's a good idea to, uh, anytime you want hot water, you turn the hot water on first before you turn on the uh, cold and, uh, and then add cold to it. Otherwise, uh, it's not gonna be, you're not gonna get uh, the hot water you uh, would like to have. Next to that is your uh, furnace exhaust. We have the furnace running. It's a good idea to get a screen for this to keep mud daubers and little varmints out. Uh, you can buy that in the RV store and uh, you can also order it from us or buy it here today when you pick up your unit. You have a garage here, all your storage. And uh, in front of that, you have your additional uh, LP tank. It's on right now, and we'll uh, turn it off uh, when you pick up your unit. As we come on around, you have your spare tire, your battery uh, cage, and your battery disconnect. Your switches for your cap lights, and also switch underneath for uh, your work light. Your other LP tank is here, and this is where your uh, regulator is. The regulator has a little green flag in it, and that shows that there's LP in the tank. When that tank runs dry, the flag will turn red, and then you can uh, turn it off, switch to the other tank, and uh, then take this tank off and uh, get it filled, and that way you will not run out of LP. Other side of your garage, Another battery disconnect, and these are extend and retract on your uh, uh, your power, your landing gears, and uh, your leveling. Up here is uh, your service connection, and uh, you have external shower connection there. You can winterize your unit by just hooking up winterization hose here and uh, sucking the uh, antifreeze right out of the tank or right out of the bottle. City water connection below that. You want to make sure you have a uh, pressure regulator to keep it at 55 pounds. Otherwise, uh, it could blow the lines inside. Tank flush below that. Once you've dumped your black tank by pulling this valve, it may show there's something in the tank. It means there's something caught on the sensors like paper or solids so you can hook a hose up to this and flush out your tank make sure that the black tank valve is pulled open and uh, and it's in a dump before you do that you also have your gray tank pull here as well the fresh water your onboard water fill is here and uh, we put some water in there so we can test uh, your unit below that is your uh, flush for your black tank and, and gray all out of one uh, out of one pipe and uh, you'll hook a hose up to that with the bayonet connection and put it in the dump before you pull your valves to empty the tanks. So we come on around you do have a gray tank connection here and uh, that's located underneath for the kitchen. Your uh, service 
is located here, your 50 amp service and all that cable is yours. The 50 amp, uh, 50 to 30 amp adapter is yours also. In case you're at a campsite that does not have 50 amps, you'll be able to hook into 30 and at least run one air conditioner. I believe that's all you have on here at the moment. All right, uh, let's go inside, do the same walkthrough as we go in. Close your door. Up to your right, you're going to find your button for your slide. Uh, we have it out now. A ceiling lights, awning light, and your awning extend and retract there. Right behind you is your kitchen, kitchen sink. And over to your right is your cooktop. You can turn your valve on your cooktop, hit the sparker, and it will light up each burner. You turn them off. If you want to light up the oven, this will light your pilot by turning it to light, holding it in, and hitting the sparker all at the same time. And once your uh, pilot is lit, then you'll be able to choose the temperature to, for your oven to bake. Above that, you'll find your microwave, your hood ring, and you have a fan and a light over your hood. And then we come around to your refrigerator. Your refrigerator is 12 volt, and so it will uh, run while you're traveling down the road because it'll be plugged into your uh, your truck, which uh, will work off the inverter or the converter, and it also uh, it'll work off the battery uh, located up front. Your dinette set will make down into a bed by taking the top off of these posts, laying the post in a safe place, putting the tabletop on the bumpers here, and pulling the pillars forward to make a uh, to make a bed. Above that, you have your TV, your entertainment center, and to the other side, you have your uh, couch. That will also make into a bed by pulling the pillows off and raising the cushion part and pulling it out. It will make into a nice bed as well. We come back up the steps to your bedroom. Located on the wall, you'll find your thermostat. To operate the thermostat, you simply push the mode button. We pushed it in for heat and uh, set the temperature up to 71 so it's using LP to uh, heat up the unit. Above that you'll find your uh, your board that will show you uh, your battery. It's fully charged but we're plugged in so it's charging. Your fresh tank is full. Your black and gray tank is empty. And then we have your water pump on so we can uh, test your water flow after we've dewinterized your unit. In the bathroom, your toilet has a foot pedal. You slightly push the pedal until water is running in the bowl, but not coming out. Once you have the bowl filled to a desired amount, after use, then you will push the pedal all the way down and flush the toilet. This goes directly into your black tank. This is also where you're gonna put your black tank chemicals. Before you start, camping at all, you want to put black tank chemicals in that tank, and uh, even after you've emptied your tank, it's a good idea to put more chemicals in to keep it uh, smelling fresh. Nice walk-in shower, and then your medicine cabinet. Your GFI is here, and anything uh, close to water is hooked into the GFI. Your on-demand water heater turns on here and it'll uh, show the temperature and you can run the temperature up and down here uh, and uh, 
like I say, you want to run the hot water first for on the man, and once it's uh, you feel the hot, then you can turn the cold on to get the temperature you desire. But do not turn the cold on until after the hot water is coming out. So come into your bedroom. A nice queen size bed. Closet space. Small wardrobes. And this is uh, prep for another AC if you so desire. So we come by, back out into the cabin. Pretty well uh, takes care of our walkthrough. We'd like to uh, thank you for buying your unit from Holman and know that you're going to have uh, a lot of fun in it. It's a nice unit and uh, again we thank you.